Boomer Sooner, everybody. You guys know me, I'm Harry James. The Oklahoma Sooners no longer in the Big 12, now in the SEC. So let's officially break down our first S official SEC opponent, and that is the Tennessee Volunteers. Uh, the SEC last season, 9-4, 4-4, in the Eastern Division of the Southeastern Conference. Let's talk about it. Josh Heupel and the Vols right now! 1982 Boomer Sooner. You know what to do. Don't go away. the show everybody you guys know me i'm harry james the first sec opponent for the sooners on the schedule the tennessee volunteers out of knoxville tennessee play their home games at neyland stadium out there in knoxville finishing off a nine and four season four and four in the eastern division now four and four might sound kind of eh, ten, ten ten and four pretty good now look at who two of those teams are against Alabama and Georgia, those were the home games. They also lost two roadies, the first road game at Florida, the first official SEC road game. So that tells you how difficult that one was. The only other loss last year for, uh, for uh, Tennessee was at an improving Missouri, improved Missouri. But they did get nine wins last year, earning them a bowl game where they played in the Camping World Bowl against Iowa blanked them out 35 to nothing, did Coach Heupel. Speaking of Coach Heupel, Coach Josh Heupel, fourth season with Tennessee, is a, a 2000 graduate from Oklahoma. He does have some coaching history. 2018 uh, to 2020, he was with UCF and the Golden Knights out of the American Conference. No divisional championships, though. Uh, no divisions in the American at that, at that time. Now they are in the SEC. Uh, now he is in the SEC as far as 2021 to present with the Tennessee Volunteers. 2021 to 2023, Tennessee was in the eastern side of the SEC Conference. There are no longer any divisions in the SEC. Good versus good, one versus one, that's who will play, or one versus two, I should say, that is who will play in Georgia for the SE, Atlanta, Georgia, I should say, for the SEC championship. Now, what got him to Tennessee was a uh, overall record at, UC, uh, at UCF, which was pretty good. Now, at UCF and at Tennessee, those two schools, 70 games between the two. Uh, and in 70 games, 50 and 20 in overall play. That is a 71% winning clip. And 33 and 15 in 48 games. That is a 69% winning clip. And dead even, 3 and 3, 50%. Six bowl appearances in the Josh Heupel era at UCF and for uh, Tennessee. But that's just Josh Heupel and the team last year. What about the team this year? Okay, let's talk about it. The leading stat returners, passing number eight, Miko Ayamalava. Ayamalava, 314 uh, passing yards last year, two touchdowns, three picks, a long-distance pass from 28 yards in just five games for Tennessee. With the five-game rule, four-game rule, five games includes the bowl game. So with the four-game rule and the bowl game not counting, he will play a redshirt freshman this year, Will Nico. So helping Nico advance into the games will be a lot, a lot, a lot of players that have played in a lot of games. Let's start with the running backs. 
running backs include 21, Dylan Sampson. Sampson? 106 overall rushes last year to match with 604 yards on the ground, seven touchdowns, including a long-distance shot run from 44 yards in 12 games. Sharing time, he shared. Uh, they he will have to share some time in the backfield also with Cameron Sheldon. Sheldon only 25 rushes last year for 106 yards and zero touchdowns, but a long-distance run from 13 yards also playing in 13 games. But Nico's going to have to pass the ball around quite a bit if he wants to have a good year. This should help a little bit. Uh, Squirrel White and Chris Brazil, Brazil the second, by the way. Uh, Squirrel White returns... Uh, 67 total receptions last year, 830 yards, two tuck boats, or two touchdowns, I should say, a long distance reception from 83 yards, and 13 games for Tennessee. This is where it'll get interesting, though. Christopher Belzer, Brazil, the second, 31 catches last year, 711 yards. Five touchdowns, a long distance shot from 47 yards, and and played in 13 games for Tulane. Tulane transfer coming into play for Coach Heupel and company. Defensively, another group of Trent Junior uh, uh, of uh, uh, transfer portal players, but they're not going to be bad defensive players. Jacoby Thomas and Eli Purcell. 30, Jacoby Thomas, 71 total tackles last year, uh, forced fumble, zero fumbles recovered, zero picks, 11 games, defensive back, played last year for Middle Tennessee. And uh, 52, Eli Purcell played a Walford, finishing with 67 total tackles, zero forced fumbles, zero fumbles recovered, zero picks, 11 games, a linebacker, of course, as we already talked about, from Wofford University. So that's offense, defense, D dive into a little bit of special teams also. Hunter first, 98, Ross Jackson, 55 punts last year, averaging 42.3 in average, three touchbacks, uh, 22 balls landed inside the 20 yard line, 71 punts. Uh, 71 a long distance punt, I should say, playing in 12 games. And the kicker, Josh Turnbuckle, Turnbuckle, just one kick last year from 33 yards, but made it one for one, playing in 13 games. So probably kicked off quite a bit last year and did some a couple of PATs for Tennessee last season. All right, guys, that will wrap this thing up and ship it out. Next week, Auburn. That's right, the Auburn Tigers. We'll preview Auburn. Take a good hard look at Auburn. Until then, guys, you guys know me, Harry James. Click click on the uh, click on everything and like it. Facebook, Harry James Taylor. Twitter or X at the Hype Man Harry. And on Patreon, Harry James Taylor. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, boomer sooner, everybody. I guess I'm out of here. Peace.